Hi guys, it's Colette, and today I'll be doing this spring green and blue water marble on my mom's short nails. If you catch a glimpse during the video, I've still got my Easter pastel and hollow water marble on, and that's a really good shot to show you the difference in size between my nails and my mom's nails. I hope you're subscribed to my channel, My Simple Little Pleasures, and make sure to hit that notification bell. And if you'd like to see how I did this, just stay tuned. Starting out with clean, dry nails, I'm going to be applying a base coat. For mom, I'm going to be using Orly Bonder, since she does not change her manicures as often as I do. And you can use whichever is your personal preference. Before I apply the base color, I'm just going to go over the polishes that I'm using. That base is going to be Zoya Purity. And then I'm actually not using Purity in the water marble. The water marble is just going to be Zoya Gemma and China Glaze for Audrey. Okay, next is to protect around your nails, and my mom is not a fan of the liquid latex, so we're going to do this the old-fashioned way with tape. I do have a separate video all about taping if you are maybe allergic to latex and want even more tips, but basically I'm going to paste one across the nail right down by the cuticle, and then the second piece I'm going to go straight up the side as close as possible around the tip and then straight down the other side and really done well you can get nearly as close as with latex the main downside is because it kind of covers your joint your fingers are going to be very stiff and kind of more difficult to move around so each way has pros and cons as usual i'll be working in a five ounce cup of room temperature filtered water and I'm going to be going for a total of eight rings with these polishes, which is a little bit on the low side. But as you can probably see, they don't spread the best. They're definitely workable. I've definitely kind of forced it with less cooperative polishes, but I wasn't able to get uh, more rings than that to really fit without like super pushing my luck. So... I'm going to start out by just going from side to side and I'm going for more of a random design but even with a random design I want to try and use the same number of strokes per cup so that's my second stroke this will be my third stroke and I'm going to do one more just kind of eyeball it which areas look like they need a little bit more detail. So, the other nails I did dip two at a time. This time we're just going to be dipping her thumb. And uh, when you're working on someone else's nails, just make sure they know what they're supposed to do. Go ahead and dip. And then, you know, just make sure they're in a position that's comfortable for them. Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult, and if they can't clearly see the cup, you're going to need to help guide them. But with a little bit of practice, you can manage. We actually, like I mentioned, we've already done her other nails, and those were kind of narrowly averted disasters, but we worked it out. Okay, I want you to rotate your hand. Don't hit the camera. Okay, keep turning. <laughs> okay, we're going to slowly pull out and, okay, show the marble. <laughs> there you guys can see the marble. And that's the most awkward part, honestly, for doing my mom's nails. But I, I like to pull out with the nail 
facing upwards to help with the bubbles. I feel like the bubbles, uh, you, you get less bubbles if you pull out that way. So now I'm going to remove her tape. It's fairly easy. Not quite as easy as latex, but I'm going to find the bottom side here and cut the piece that's looped. And then only reason I'm using tweezers is because I have a manicure and I don't want to get any polish on it. But then you just pull it off. A lot of times it'll just come off in one nice piece like that. And like I said, you can get nearly as close as with latex. And now we're just going to move on to normal cleanup. Finally, I'm going to finish off with a top coat, and as usual, I'll be using Sesh Feet. So here's the finished manicure, and I feel like this is giving a really kind of underwater vibe. I really like the way that it turned out. And of course, most importantly, Mom also likes it. You can see the variation between all of her nails, but the ones that actually ended up with the most variation are her thumbs. And you can see those here. And... I really, I didn't intend for them to be quite so different, but she likes both of them, so it turned out okay. And this thumb is actually the one she was most worried about because it's so short right now. She actually just had to cut it down a little bit, but it all ended up okay. And I did want to also show you guys just a couple of the test strips. There will be a polish testing video for this, and I am still going to post the polish testing for my Easter manicure, but I wanted to make sure to get this tutorial up before the end of the month. So this is pretty much what we actually ended up going with, and it was just kind of a... I think this might have been one of the last tests that I did. The color combination she originally was going to go with is the same colors, but instead of what is acts like a white base with the green base and you can see how much darker that would have turned out and in the testing you also see I played around with a few other variations of the blue and green theme so I did really like the way this swirl came out and my mom liked that too we almost went with that but we ended up going with the design as you saw it so I'd love to hear what you guys think of my mom's water marble more proof that water marbling definitely can be done on short nails. There won't be any water marbles, of course, next month. I'll be taking a little break after doing them all month in March, but I have a lot of ideas and there's a lot of fun stuff coming, so be sure you're subscribed to my channel. Turn on those notifications to get an alert for all my new uploads. I hope you guys all enjoyed, and as always, Thanks for watching.